You probably looked up how to make money online and came across a video on how to build your own e-commerce Shopify store. And you've been researching for hours and watching people on YouTube and TikTok make millions of dollars using this tool and living the life of their dreams. So you decided to take your own action and start this journey as well. You built your own website, found the perfect product to sell, and you followed all of the steps that the gurus teach. But something happened. In fact, nothing did. Hardly any sales at all, if not zero. All this hard work for what? leaving you confused and not understanding where to go in order to get these sales and do the numbers that you're seeing online. Well, if you're watching this video, then you most likely don't give up easily. They don't know me, son! And you wanna keep pushing forward to get that first sale and start to actually have traction with your online business. And over the last eight years, I work with people like yourself. And today I'm gonna break down what is happening, how to fix your actual traffic to be able to convert. That way you can start seeing sales with your online e-commerce store and be able to scale up with results. And if you're new here, my name is Chase Chapel, and we've generated over a billion dollars in sales for our clients over the years. Working with brands like Curtis here, who did their first million dollars with us in their first year, who has a clothing brand, as well as Yazan, who did a million dollars per month with us from zero in just six months. So in today's video, let's cover some of the reasons you're getting traffic, but not actually seeing any sales with your Shopify. The first one is likely due to your website being a poor design. The first question you need to ask is, would you buy from this website? your own website, would you purchase from it? So let's go ahead and look an example at a site that could be improved on Shopify. Here's an example. This is somebody who follows our content online and I went to their website. They have nice branding. It's called Smile Sups. And one of the reasons that a lot of websites don't convert is due to lacking information, not having enough insights around the product, not actually breaking it down in a way that's compelling enough for somebody to purchase, not giving them the information they need. So let's go ahead and go through the site and just go over some things that can improve it. The first thing I notice is the branding is nice. I like the yellow and I like how they've set up their products. Results that will make you smile. That's good. They should definitely have a call to action here that says shop now. When you hover over this, it shouldn't make it a lighter color because it's harder to see. They should even tint this at a shop now button so that way it's a strong call to action. This free shipping in the USA, that's great. It should be bold so it stands out. Rather than saying the word catalog, you should say shop. It's a word that people are actually going to recognize and know that they're there to purchase. I'd remove this home button. Most people are used to clicking on logos anyways. They have their best sellers, which is great as a first step. I would change this red to a black. And then as you go down, you can get a year supply for free. That's a, that's a crazy call out. I would make sure that if that is accurate, then I wouldn't even have this necessarily because this is just gonna make people submit here and not actually purchase because they're probably gonna assume that they're gonna get a year supply for free. And that's the end of their homepage. There's definitely not a lot of things going on on their homepage. I would recommend breaking down the product even more, going over each individual product, having a story around the brand, having different insights, comparing it against other products as well. Down here, they should have their social icons. And when I go to the product page, the first image is great. Second image, also amazing. The text is cut off. This needs to be fixed. All of your text should be shown in the actual image. If things are cut off like this, people are going to be worried and not potentially purchase because it doesn't look professional and they can't see all the information anyways. So this should definitely be zoomed out. And this information on here, they have the call outs and key points, but it should be nested underneath the add to cart button. So that way all the information's there. They should have a drop down for the shipping information. It says buy now and receive in seven to 14 days. Most people are used to getting shipping within seven days. Ideally, you wanna have a shorter shipping time frame. They start to break down the product, but I would recommend having an actual professional shot image of the actual product, not just Photoshopped. It'd be better if you actually had this bottle and showed what it looked like like a real life version here. Same thing here, you wanna have the actual product sitting there, not just a piece of clip art. There should be call to actions on each of these. They do a good job of breaking down the information, but you definitely need more lifestyle based images. And then this information could definitely just be up here. They need reviews on their site. I would remove recently viewed and just leave recommended for you. So this could be a great ad, but you also want a shot of the actual product a real life version of it. You need some lifestyle content on here. You have the add to cart, you have buy three, buy five. I do buy one, buy two, buy three. And then I just turn this to black text. That's a great way to get people to add additional items to cart. You should use slide cart. They have an upsell. That's great, but perfect. So you have slide cart pop out. This purple is really strong. I would just make this a white background. A lot of times people don't realize that your site is one of the biggest reasons you don't convert. And if we go to their other product pages, we'll notice that there's other things going on. This should be removed. This isn't necessary right here. This image looks overly faded. 
you'll have a lot of bright colors so i'd stick with that branding throughout and once again everything needs to be nested underneath and use the actual product itself and now let's look at a website that is getting strong conversions because one of the biggest things for people is making sure you have all the right information and you structure your site in a way that's going to convert here's an example of vital proteins you can see that they're leveraging their branding throughout and very quickly, you already see the tops of the actual products, which is gonna make people scroll. And here's that call to action I was talking about that you know this website really needs. You can see the main difference. I mean, there's a much stronger call to action, shop now, shop products. This is exactly what I was referring to. You scroll down, you then see the list of products here. They call out keywords like bestseller. They have the reviews and they have the button that says shop now. They're trying to capture information. You can see very quickly there's a lot more going on. They have a video. They're talking about why it's important, how the product works. They have subscription programs. And then they have the reviews, the social media. This is really important for you to be able to get conversions because when you visit a site, if you're not willing to buy from it, then likely other people aren't either. And this is what I was referring to when you actually show the supplement facts, not to where you can't necessarily see it because that's a huge issue. You see the main difference? It makes all the difference in terms of conversions. They have additional benefits and breakdowns, even explain how frequently to use it, what size. This should also be here, like do you take it once daily, twice daily? That information needs to be here. They have a subscribe and save option. They break down the ingredients even further and they have nice branding throughout. Then they have the product information, benefits, ingredients, how to use and frequently asked questions. As you go down, you can see a video and then they have their collagen powders and some additional information that gives people the insights that they need to make a purchase. When you add to cart, you can then go and check out. So that's one of the main reasons why you might not be getting conversions. But what are some of the other factors that also go into this? Because you might have spent a few hundred dollars and not seen a single sale from your ads. Well, your ads could be misleading. They might not have all the right information. You need to have different breakdowns of ads. For instance, you need to try comparison ads, comparing your product against another competitor's product. If their pricing's better, if your ingredients are better, if you have any main difference that is more powerful than your competitor, you need to call those things out because that could be the difference between somebody wanting to purchase and not. You wanna make sure that you're using direct purchase conversion ads. If you're running a traffic campaign, a link click campaign, a boost campaign, you're not going to see the sales. If you're running add to cart campaign, you're only going to get exactly what you asked for that would likely be add to carts. That's why you wanna optimize for purchase conversion campaign with your Facebook ads. The other factor could be the wrong targeting. You're going after countries where your actual customers are not interested in buying. You need to focus on either one or two countries specifically. And then you also need to do multiple audience testing. If you're only testing one audience, well, if that one doesn't work, you're not gonna see sales. The same thing goes for ad copy. If you only have one variation of copy, well, if it doesn't work, you're not going to see the purchases, even if you're getting traffic. And then your pricing could be too high. This is another thing that most people underestimate. A lot of people think they can just make a fancy logo, call their brand a high value brand, a luxury brand, and have the craziest pricing ever with no actual justification as to why. So sometimes you need to lower your price to actually see if you can get conversions. And if you do, you can build up data before raising your price again. That way you can start to train the pixel get your conversions under control, get people to the website to buy, and then eventually raise the price and scale up. And these are just a few of the reasons why you're not getting traffic. And I highly recommend to dig into each and every one of these. Your branding needs to flow throughout your ads and your website. And you need all of these factors in place to be able to convert. So I highly recommend checking out our Facebook ad tutorial videos so that way you can set up your Facebook ads the right way. Now I've been running ads for over eight years for some of the largest brands and influencers and creators in the world and have trained even some of the YouTubers that you know and love that you watch as well. And we've helped thousands of students be able to generate six, seven, and eight figures in sales per year just by going through these strategies. And we've even helped brands like Scott here go from zero to 120,000 plus followers on TikTok. TikTok is one of the most valuable ways to get sales without having to spend a single dollar on paid ads. And I can go on and on about all the success our communities had, and it's really a testament to the data-driven methods that we cover and teach inside our trainings and at our agency. And that's exactly why we created our one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship, where we show you exactly how you can go to seven figures per year 
with your Facebook, TikTok ads, and how to actually structure your site in a way that's compelling enough for somebody to actually purchase. And inside my Ads Mastery one-on-one -on -one mentorship, we literally handhold you going over the exact steps on calls every single week. So that way you can get there from point A to point Z in a much shorter time frame, removing all of the trial and error and giving you the exact roadmap that you need to avoid the pitfalls. And we've worked in over 250 plus different niches and the strategies like the ones today are just what your business needs. So definitely make sure to click the link in the description to sign up for a call to see if you qualify for our one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship or DM me the word mentor at Real Chase Chapel on Instagram where I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Now I've given you the tools to go succeed. The ball is in your court and it's up to you now to take action. So once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel. Cheers and bye y'all.